Okay, so let's move on. We have still a few materials left to do. So let's grab here all these notes, make a bit more space here. And we need a new merge node, a uh, multi-channel merge. Yes, Arnold, please give me the Arnold one. Hasta la vista, Arnold is here. Hey, no, I want the base one. And connect it here as well to our end merge node. Cool. Copy paste here our generic one. And we can rename it to blue. So next we want to do the blue part. Ah, wait, wait. We are lazy today. Or let, let's let's call it uh, call it not lazy. Let's call it a bit time optimized. We can copy paste here this one. So we rename it. We double click on it and rename it to blue. We don't need this one. Hook it up and let's see what we get here. And everything should be in yellow. Yes. So now we need a new isolation mask. P for paint node. Scalar is fine. Fully black without an alpha. So, or an alpha of one. Okay. Hook it up and we are back to our previously state. Select a node here, selection mode in the viewport and selection groups. Let's go for the blue. Here this one and a few of them are hidden here. Wait, I, we can hide it quickly. So selection group, let's hide the glass. So now you can see here the selected blue parts. And as we learned previously, right click, fill, fill with white. And they are now yellow. We can easily change them to blue. So let's jump here into our node and change the base color here. That's the cool thing about procedural base you are super flexible with changing such stuff and maybe when when you are at work so the art director will come and say hey i don't like that stuff here please change it it's way easier to change it this way instead of repainting every single piece so we're doing later a bit of hero painting where we paint with the actual pen and stuff like that but we want to try to stay as long as we can procedural. So I have the feeling that is cool, but I want these panels here as well. And for that, we can go and let's have a look how our UVs looks like. Yeah, change here the view, make a bit more space here. And still the paint node selected here. We can, I think it's this one, double click on it. Oh no, it, it will select the whole um, piece of that. We can change that here to, I think it was connectness UV. Yes. And this one here as well, double click with shift so it still come on okay let's let's do it by my own right click fill and white this one here as well right click fill with white and let's see which one will be cool as well Maybe this one here. Yes. Right click, fill with white. And this one. Cool. Right click, fill with white. 
So now we have here a bit more an interesting look here. Maybe this one here as well. Yes. Why is it cut here? Don't know. Uh, fill with white. And one more time here on the other side. Hello from the other side. No, I don't want to, to sing. So pretty sure there will some 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 warm blood run out of your ears when I start singing. So no worries. I will not sing here. Cool. Now we are on track here. Nice. Let's switch here back to perspective view. And we also want the damage mask which we had or which we made previously for our yellow parts. Let's make it a bit bigger here. And we can simply do that by inserting a new merge node by pressing M on the keyboard. Insert this one here and we can reuse that one here. Set the blending operation here to multiply. And reconnect this spaghetti here. Oh no, now we killed it. Nice. And here we go. Look at that. Pretty nice so far, I guess. Slowly this little bad boy is coming along. I wonder what, what material do we have here? Let's have a quick look. Uh, we have a crow, we have a gray. Gray asks for the finger when I'm not wrong. Uh, red are this there. Metal, gray, yes, fingers, eyes, chrome, blue. Oh, we missed, we missed here this one. Why? Right click, fill again with white. Aha, yeah, I, I think I understand what, what I did wrong. We have here connected the wrong one. We need to connect this one here. Otherwise it will also connect this one here. And... Come on. Yes, now we are back on track. <laughs> I was a bit confused, so what the hell. I think that looks pretty cool. To make it a bit more interesting, we can change here the roughness value a bit, so it, it will look like a bit uh, more complex. I mean, don't worry, I'm, I'm just blocking out here the materials. Later we will add some dirt and rust and hero breakups on top of that. Uh, right, yeah, let's go for this one. Uh, let's make maybe something like three. So this one are now a bit more glossy compared to the other ones. Just a tiny bit. Nice, nice. Let's go back. And here again. Bake point, the multi-channel bake point. Yes. And bake it. And here we go. So in the next video, uh, I will do the fingers and I think the metal stuff. And yeah, see you then. Bye bye.